Hello everybody, welcome back. My name's Tholan, this is Great Life Gaming, and today we're going to be looking at an advanced machinery parts build in Foundry. Now this build is relatively simple, but there are a few little quirks to it, so I thought I'd run through it uh, and show you what I discovered with everybody, that's why I'm making this guide. Um, so let's start off with the actual um, recipe itself, and we're going to be using a Assembler 2 for this which will be apparent shortly. Uh, you'll see that it requires 40 regular machine parts, 20 steel, and it outputs 20 of the advanced machine parts per minute. Um, so there's a two to one relationship here. We're gonna need twice as many of the advanced uh, machine parts. So let's take a look at, well, first let's take a look, look at the reason why we're using these um, uh, assembler twos. Because every time you upgrade the assembler, it goes up by like a third, and the numbers just don't work out very well if you're going to use um, an assembler three here. Um, I mean, you could probably figure it out, but the relationship is far more easy to calculate once you've got an assembler two. So that's why we're going to use an assembler two here. Um, but we can use an assembler three to generate the regular machine parts. That gives us a nice 80 per minute, which is exactly twice the amount we're going to need here. So uh, we'll need um, half the number of T3 assemblers uh, to output this uh, to get what we need for the uh, advanced machinery parts. Uh, and in total, uh, we're going to need 32 um, assemblers building the advanced machine parts. Uh, 680 divided by 20 is 32, so we need to keep that in mind as well. All right, so those are the ratios. Uh, let's place these. We'll get our layout all sorted here. So we're going to get a building, say, around here. And we'll configure this for, for that. And we need an input of plates, like so. And let's put that here, like so. And I'm going to output these on our red belt. I like using red belts here just to designate we don't need a lot of throughput. This is going to be an inlining build, um, uh, so we're not going to need a lot of throughput here. I like the inlining builds. That needs to be an output uh, because it just requires fewer belts, and we don't need as uh, very high-powered uh, high belts. It would be nice if we could connect um, direct connect buildings, but uh, the game doesn't support that yet, which... I'm hoping it does in the relatively near future. Um, so there's our advanced machine parts. Now this is going to require uh, that. So there we go. Simple enough. Okay, now we're also going to need an input of steel. So we have that. So we can put the steel here. And then we've got to output the machine parts, which can go here. Oops, and that should be an output. And we need on the other side as well. So we need an output here and an input here. All right, so there's our steel. We'll get the other side done over here. So, uh, let's get our input of assemblers, or sorry, plates. Uh, then we need our red belt again. We're just going to duplicate this on the other side. Uh, there we go. So that's the, the basic pattern, All right? We have plates incoming, twice the in number of plates uh, with for one belt of steel. And we're gonna out, be outputting one belt of uh, advanced machine parts. So let's get uh, everything set up. Oh, of course, these need to be our assembler twos. So let's change that. 
All right. So we're going to need uh, 32 of these. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Same thing on this side. Four, five, six. And 16. All right, now for these ones, we only need um, half of the, so we're gonna skip every other one here like so. Like that, uh, same thing on this side. Perfect. And let's get all our belting sorted here. Okay, now theoretically we don't need uh, these red belts to go uh, straight through, but um, I just find it easier to lay them out that way. Uh, so we'll just keep it like that just for purposes of trying to be relatively quick and efficient here on time. Okay, and then we need output them. Whoops. Oh, I need to output them here. My wrong side. The nice thing about using the T3 belts uh, for this uh, for the uh, machine parts is that we only need half of them, therefore half the number of loaders. You could use um, tier one assemblers here, then you get a one-to-one -one relationship. Either way works. Um, tier ones will use less power, but they do take up more loaders. So the decision is yours. It doesn't really matter all that much. Okay, so we're gonna need to get all of the normal machine parts loaded here. Forget to do the one in the middle. Every other one. Like so. All right, so we'll get the <coughs> steel input. And we'll get our advanced machine parts as output. Okay, so steel input goes here. Steel output will go here. Or not steel output, I should say advanced machine parts output. <clears throat> okay, and we need um, the output can go here. Thank you. 
And the input goes here for this side. It'll certainly be nice once they have blueprints and it'll alleviate much of the duplication here. And there we go. I got to do this side now. One more. Let's get our inputs done. Of plates. So that only goes up to here. And our output of... <coughs> Machine parts. All right. Get the inputs done. Inputs and let's do the outputs. Okay, and then input the actual machine parts. should look something like that that's basically our layout all right so let's actually plug in all the materials and let's see it see it work in here there we go you see the outer ones turning on Once you see every every second, once the first one turns on, then we'll get some coming into the next one. There we go. And let's connect our like so. And that's going to go into my main bus over there. And all these should turn on. There we go. Now that one is turning on now too. Ooh, why is this one not turning on? Oh, that, sorry. Did we just miss? Ah, missed one belt there. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's our 640 advanced machine parts per minute. All right. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was a fairly quick and uh, simple one. Um, join me on Tholen1000 on Twitch. Uh, you can find me there um, streaming this game. I'm, uh, and uh, please like and subscribe if, you've, if you enjoy the content. And I've got uh, some other Foundry guides. Please take a look at those. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.